Hey, this is Dark Jedi. Today we're going to be looking at the progress I've made on Season 4 of Pool Payday. I'm trying to unlock everything because the last item is a secret item, so I want to show it you uh, show you the item here on this video. If you're new to this channel or new to skills games in general, be sure to use my promo code when you make your first cash deposit. Every one of these skills games you can play for money, and if you get good at them, you can make money. So I don't think I've made a deposit in over a year now but I do have a lot of fun playing these games I wouldn't consider myself professional at the game but I do consider myself good enough that I can go infinite which means I don't really make any cash deposits and to do that promo code all you're going to do is put in dark jedi sa just like you see it there and that will give you a bonus. They've been changing it lately, so I don't want to disclose how much it is. Right now it's $15. In the future it could change again. So whenever you see this video and you use my promo code, you may or may not get more or less than, than what the current promotion is. And so what what are we tracking now are is these pool payday items. So if you've ever played a mobile pool game before, it's really cool to customize your table, customize your queues. Uh, we also have some emotes and things like that you can unlock. So this is season one, uh, season four that we're progressing, and you can see some of the things that you can unlock here. And so I've unlocked pretty much everything. I'm down to the last uh, two items. I need 300 crowns to get this queue stick, and then 350 crowns to get this secret chest. And uh, let me show you something here. You can select all your cues here. I'm going to switch one up. I think I'm going to try the, um, you know what, I'm going to leave it as, as the metal cue for now. And then on the tables, I saw a table that I unlocked this season that I wanted to try. It's this slant one. I'm always looking for just a simple, non-distracting table. And I, when I was looking at the different uh, tables that we've unlocked, I uh, wanted to see uh, what that looked like. So I've also unlocked the rock and row uh, emote, so we're going to put that there, and we got the rock and roll piece, alien tents, chef's kiss, the money face, lucky, and KO. Um, so what I've been doing to unlock crowns is I've been playing this head-to-head uh, -head mode. It's not real time. You can play it real time. I'm just not good enough for real time, uh, but you can get crowns a lot faster. So I'm going to show you uh, this mode here. And I have been getting better at this game. So when I first started this, I was getting anywhere from 400 to 700 points, 700 being like a really good score for me. And now I'm averaging maybe 500 to 1,000 points. I know that's a big range, but uh, the way you get more points is by doing combination shots. So right here, hitting the 12 into the 6 is going to get me a combination on the 6, so I get a 75-point bonus. I could have hit it harder to try to get the 12, in on there, but I decided not to because I want to be able to uh, score more points by uh, leaving it there for another bonus shot. And what I'm going to try to do here is hit the two into the three. I don't want to waste my eight ball on the edge like that. I want to use a lower denomination ball because uh, the times one multiplier really isn't that great to hit on. Man, this is going to be tough. Okay, <laughs> so that game had a pretty big cost. But um, what I'm going to be able to do now is get the three in, hopefully. And we're going to try and get this 10 ball. And you know what? I'm not going to, I don't have any more mistakes left. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the 10 into the corner here. If you don't score, uh, if you if you don't finish your score, you don't get any bonus points, and you are rated on how fast you can complete it. And ooh, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. So I want to get off the back rail here. And I wanted to hit it hard enough that I could have a shot on the two or the eight ball. So we're going to take the two. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that the cue ball doesn't go into the corner. And it went right into the corner. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. So 621 points. I'm a lot worse when I record and play at the same time. So you'll see I'll get one crown for completion. One crown because it was a $1 match. And I didn't get 700 points or more. So I didn't get that crown. And so um, 
that is how I've been getting these crowns very quickly. Real-time matches, unfortunately, take a lot longer. And so I need to be careful or, you know, mindful of my time. This is the fastest way to grind uh, crowns. So if you're new to, to this game, you are going to want to master uh, banking shots because that is how you're going to get the best scores. Um, this is a really tough grouping. And since you can only have two misses, I'm just going to use the first shot to just kind of wildly do that and that worked to my benefit we're gonna hit the nine back into the six just like that okay now if you do the eight ball it will rotate the multipliers across the board three times so we're gonna see that happen now Look at the 10. It moves once, twice, and then three times. And so now we are going to try and combo this 12 into the 6. Obviously, you want to hit it in the higher combinations, but oh, that was a hard shank. Um, let's see. Let's just go 6 into the corner pocket, into the 10. That look good. Oh, come on. Okay, so that's tough. Um, yep, just going to have to use this combo on the 12 here. It's not ideal, but it's still more point. I think it's about 120 points, so I broke even if I had just hit it into the 10 multiplier, but it was kind of locked in there. That was a risky one, but that's a shot that I'm pretty good at. It's risky because I didn't have any more mistakes left to go with. And this 10 ball is going to be a times 2 multiplier because I am not going to try to risk it. I'm just going to go right into the corner, get my 20 points. I left 80 points on the table, but if you finish the match, you'll get bonus uh, bonus based on the time left. So that'll put me over 700. Hopefully that'll be good enough for a win. 716. Let's see if I'm paired. Ooh, 986. Okay, so um, this other one I did win with a 621. So, you know, there's that. I'll go back into this. And that is basically what I'm doing to grind crowns. They're a lot faster. It may not seem faster, but you can get in like three of these matches in the time it takes to do one real-time match, and you'll earn the same amount of crowns. So, um, some banks that I like to do, uh, if there's a ball on the center of the table, uh, and I just move the three ball. Uh, that was one that I was going to try to do a combination on. Um, so this three ball, I'm going to just bank it right back into the corner, the top left corner. That one's a fairly easy one to do. So we're going to do the 8. I can't get the 8. Oh, I can. I'm just going to hit the crap out of it. Always do the... I, you know, it's probably better if you, like, strategically aim across the table. But <laughs> I usually just hit the crap out of it to see if something random or exciting happens. And if it does mean you shoot faster, it's okay that you don't always get a, a, a bonus shot. Because um, you do get a lot of points if you finish really fast. There's that. Okay, this is what I was telling you. So if there's a ball right in the middle of the table, you can use these corners as like really cheap. Like you can just like kind of aim the line exactly where you need it to be. All right, I'll show you. These corners are pretty helpful when you want to do something pretty cheesy. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I have two free balls. I can mess up with. Um, that was my one free ball. Let's go for a second free ball. This one, we're just going to try to hit it right off the rail there, just like that. Not enough momentum. Okay, so if I want my bonus, I just got to knock it in something. So that's what we're going to do. And I cannot scratch if I do this. There we go. So I got an extra 8 points, but I have 57 seconds left on the clock. So that will give me an extra 100 points or so. We'll end up with 800 
something points. And they also have real time uh, trick shots. The people on there are pretty good. I don't try to mess around with that. My Gizmo 01. Alright. Um, 8 ball into the times 10 is the goal here. And you'll learn the banks. It took me a while to, to really get good with banks, but there are certain ones that, you know, you just kind of, you don't even have to aim. You just know, like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And then uh, there are some that will take a little bit of brain power to really work out. Oh, and that one I should have known better. Okay. And so we'll try to do another bank here. These are going to be considerably harder. Oh, that was good. Alrighty, so on this one, rather than play it cute, I'm just going to knock the three ball in. That's like a potential 30 points. I just wanted to be done with it, <laughs> you know, get a new shot in. Uh, 10 ball right into the corner. That looks pretty good. All right. Really have a good shot. We're going to try to hit the six down. And that was actually more of me wanting to clear the ball of the table up because that 12, I can bank that in into the side pocket. Just like so. Mm, that looks good. Oh, of course I missed it. All right, so 522. Um, didn't have to play it that crazy. I could have just did the 12 into the into the side for 120 points. But uh, sometimes you got to be greedy. So, yeah, it would have been smart for me to just finish the table out. I have plenty of points to beat that guy. I just sometimes they have like 900 and you're going to have to bank every shot. Uh uh, uh 1, is like the best I've done. I think. Okay, this is going to be really hard to do, but let's see if I can do it. Nah. I I was hopeful in that I would be able to hit the um The 12 into the 2 and then the 2 into the 6. I was like dreaming there. <laughs> Alright. Check this out. Let's see if we can get this to work. I was hoping it would shoot into the times 8, the 8 ball. Alright, let's see. I want to bounce this twice off the rail. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, I wanted it to stay on the far left side. Okay. I do six into the corner. Just like that. We're gonna go into the try to go into the side pocket here. Boom! Perfect. All right. So 7:25. I had one ball left. A minute 13. That was pretty quick. So that might put me at 900. 900 score. And you can see I'm getting crowns pretty quickly, hoping to have this well in before the deadline. So 871. Not quite 900, but a fairly healthy score. We're waiting for Jason to finish his match. And, oh, I get a rematch with my gizmo. Okay, hopefully that was a good match for him, the 700. And I can just kind of play it conservative against the guy. But if that was a low score for him, I'm screwed. Because I'll have to play really good. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, that's not good. 
I don't really have a good shot. Oh, all right. I just kind of, early on, I'd kind of be a little risky. I tend to be a little risky. Oh, sweet. I got a trick shot bonus for that, too. I'll take it. Um, okay, so here, I'm going to just shoot the three into the one, because I want to leave that eight ball for a combo shot later. And I'll get more points doing the eight into the times ten. The thing that sucks, though, is that this 12 won't be in the side pocket where I want it to be. But I have no choice but to take this. And if I get lucky, I can sometimes hit it just right where the 2 follows. Yep, there we go. And so we're going to do the times 6 here on the 12. Man, this is a pretty good match so far. And we're going to do times six again on the nine. Boom. All right, so two balls, no mistakes, 818 to start, a uh, minute 16 in time. That might be a thousand point score. Let's see, thousand point score. Break a thousand. 970, okay, pretty healthy score. Oh, he's still playing. Okay, let's see how we did on some of these other matches. Beat the Jason guy. Um, so we're pretty much even as we're from where we started. If I win this one and the one that I just did uh, 970 on, uh, then I'll be above where I was at when we started this video. And this will probably be my last one. All right, so we started off with one. And so... When you hit one ball into the other, you don't have to bank it. It's already considered a trick shot. So we're just going to try to tap that in there. And we're going to come back around and do it again. Now we're going to try to get this nine ball in here. That was lucky. We're going to use the 12 into the 2. There we go. Oh, that was too shallow, but I do get a freebie. Two more, one more freebie. We're going to hit the 12 into the corner there. Perfect. And those are some of those easy conservative shots that I was telling you about that are fairly easy. These are a little bit harder for me for some reason. Well, that looked, I made it look easy, but it, <laughs> it is not easy for me. Uh, we're going to do it again over here. Oh, I almost got lucky. Okay, so now I have a choice. I'm doing it incredibly well. We can just finish out the table. Just finish out the table and not worry about any bonuses. That's already going to be 900 points without the bonus, or close to 900 points. So this might be a 1,000-point game, which would be awesome to show you a 1,000-point game. I could have banked the two, but I wanted to just lock in a 1,000-point game, or close to 1,000-point game. 1,011. Perfect. And so this guy... 1,032. So this is where I was saying, like, sometimes you just got to be greedy because you don't know what that other person's score is going to post. And if I had been greedy and was successful, I would have won. And actually, if I had just played a little faster, the time could have made up that difference, too. So, well, that pretty much concludes my video. Let's see if we beat that. And I'm looking at my cash deposit. Uh, let's see here. I do think I won that other one. Yeah, so I beat my gizmo. What's really cool is when you beat someone, you can look at their record against you. So you can see here, I have beat this person twice and I'm lost once. So, and you'll find that you'll play people, uh, rivals. <laughs> um, that some people you just can't beat.
they're really lucky against you. So I don't have any record against that person. But uh, let me know what you think of the video. I'm going to do another video when I unlock this uh, chest. So when I'm like in the 300s, I'll start recording and we'll see what's inside that chest. Well, thank you so much for watching. You have a good day.